viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to the SAE family channel some wonderful people you know the medical article really want to quote to you this morning as regards to the West Indies you know um, the West Indies you know whenever the West Indies go up and uh, are start to lose farm you understand in a sense where they start to do poorly a lot of people have their opinion to give as regards to what is the problem in the West Indies squad, right, my people? And today, I'm going to zoom in on an article that I think Brian, um, over there from Trinidad a Farmer, a West Indies player, you know, wrote where he was asking some questions, guys. He was questioning if West Indies have too much coaches, you know, in the short of Virgin. We're talking um, the likes of Flight Reefer, um, Carl Hooper, Darren Sammy, you know, um, you know, he's saying that maybe too much coaches there can spoil the team. You know, guys, a lot of details, guys, he's basically saying. We're just going to quote it to you guys. Not all of the article, guys, but just the main important details, you know, because when I really turned it into hours video, you know, but you understand. But if it's the first time on the channel, my people, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notification. And Bell. The article started off like this. Do too many coaches spoil the team? That's the question, Mark. Right, my people? That's the question. Do you believe that too many coaches spoil the team? Well, you can leave the comment section. Let's continue. Does anyone at Cricket West Indies, CWI, know why the West Indies cricket team is playing so poorly and why they are so inconsistent? Are the selectors, team, management, and coaches aware of the short comments? Question mark. It seems that knowledge and how it should be applied to cricketers is the missing link in West Indian cricket. Right? He continue. It doesn't appear to matter to those responsible for performance of West Indies teams. Performance. Uh, it doesn't appear to matter to those responsible for the performance of West Indies team. No one and the executive of CWI understand the game and therefore cannot really be in a position to reduce the level of ignorance that emanated from those prestigious officers or offices. Put it away. Better, you know, say officers, offices. You know, because there is more than one people that respond for West Indies so offices. But better, better. All right. One never hears about a coach being fired or administrative officers being replaced or selectors being released. No matter how many matches are lost and even worse, how West Indies approach the game and the field of play. Hence, West Indies teams are just rolling along regardless of their poor performances and dismal record. Right? Moreover, CWI tends to accept their position regardless of the lack of spectators attending the games without any idea of the reasons why it's happening. Of course, anyone who thinks about the game can tell that supporters, whatever the sport, don't come out to cheer losing teams. <laughs> All right, so losing teams won't get as much support. That's what he's saying now. Let's continue. Is, C, is it CWI who is responsible for the team's reliability and efficiency against its opponents and the field of play? Let's continue. Is that sinking what he just said? Let's continue. The, the delegates of CWI must let their public know why the performance is all is so low, you know, from West Indian islands that have always been proud of produce cricketers who are popular worldwide as individuals yet cannot produce consistently as a unit with positive intent. <laughs> so in my wonder why cause the West Indies should not be producing um Proper players, you understand that that can really go out there and, and produce my wonderful people, you know. And, um, you see, guys, even this person before, um, the the Cricket West Indies has announced their coaches, people, you know. I brought to you, I think, before the, the previous channel, guys, you know, a lot of videos was over a thousand videos was on it. I brought to you a lot of videos of what he's saying, he was against. Darren Sammy being the coach, I think. Um, 
it was a lot of, it was against a lot of things guys you know um so now it's no surprise to me that he's speaking out when the west indies buck up on a bad patch or a bad patch of a farm you understand my people so uh maybe that's the reason why he's speaking out but the majority of the majority are offered contracts for t20s throughout uh, the world of cricket boy oh boy um so it's not because of lack of talent nevertheless something is missing and it is up to those who govern west indies cricket to come up with the answers to improve standards there is no excuse no one forced the executive of cwi to take up executive position to lift west indian cricket out of the dull drums why oh boy let's continue my people however signs of improvement are not forthcoming because this is happening fewer and fewer spectators are going to matches there will still be in they will still be interested in the scores and what what's happening at the venue but they will not attend the games because of the risk of feeling embarrassed and sometimes humiliated. <laughs> and I, I believe you have a point there, guys, because first time when we were younger and I was younger, a lot of people used to want to go out there and watch the match now. No people, you know, maybe because the time change and things change, you know, more technology now. So you don't have to really go to the match to watch the match. You can watch it on your phone. Maybe that's the reason. And and, 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 and the younger generation, you know, enough of them won't get time to watch cricket. Or, you know, enough of them is not interested in cricket. Put it away, the guys. Maybe that's the reason why a lot of people not going out to third party in the West Indies supporting them. Um, but I I, I I believe maybe generational changes um is the lack is is the one of the reasons why West Indies is not getting as much support because you know um younger generation as I said um not interested in cricket. Ninety percent of them is not interested in cricket, especially in some islands. Not all the islands because you know some islands cricket is their bread and butter. You understand my people where it's everything, it's the number one sport there. Not like some country where it's not the number one sport and a lot of youngsters don't see a future in the cricket. You understand my people? So you might find lesser people attractive to the game. And the older generation is passing. When I say passing guys, enough of them is dead. Some of them is lying sick. You know understand people. So people would have normally go there and support the team is not not up to it. You understand my people when the generation changing. You know, let's continue the little article, guys. Um there is also a lot of talks from coaches and officials about the team and the expectation before a ball is even bold. However, there are some old excuses for poor performance or bland um premises for the next game. <laughs> it's clear nothing is being done. In terms of extra practice pro properly done with lengthy bowling spells and extra long knocks of batting in the nets, constant catching and energized running, picking up and throwing could assist in improving the field. Every department needs work and it's only when discipline is acquired by a great deal of practice that the cricketer will be ready for international cricket. If he's if is doing all the work, that work and is still so inconsistent, then I'm afraid the coaches don't understand the intricates of the game because the players have proven that they are physically talented if appropriate practice is carried out uh, and they are still not doing well. One can summarize that perhaps they are, are not up to international standard. However, that is not true, as watching them play at times when they are producing West Indian cricketers always look like a world batters. Uh, world beaters, guys, not batters. So, I'm not going to quote any more of the article, guys. Um, you know, so, you get the point that he's saying, guys. He's, he's just... Oh boy. He's just picking on something, guys, to really um, blame for West Indies' poor performances. He's touching the coach, he's touching the talent. You know, guys, but leave your honest start down below, guys. I don't see any reason for me to continue to quote this article, guys, because this man, enough of the time, guys, when he publish article, he's always against the West Indies' um, current administrative. You understand, my people? So, you know, um, a lot of people won't shed a little light on him. You understand? But leave your honest start down below, my people. Bless upon yourself, all right? Little more.